Hi, uh, welcome to a uh, tutorial on HTML5. Um, okay, I'm going to be telling us some of the very, um, very big bits of HTML5. Um, today we're going to be looking at an introduction to HTML5, what it is and what it is used for. Okay, um, HTML is a standard markup language for creating web pages. Okay, and basically HTML stands for um, hypertext markup language. Um, just going to do that quickly. Hyper, okay, yeah, like so. Hypertext uh, markup and language. Okay, basically, is a markup language used to define the content of web pages. Okay, content can be text, it could be images. Okay, like so, it could be text, images, it could be multimedia files, you know, like video and audio files. So HTML defines content, content and um, how they are placed on web pages. Um, HTML elements are represented by tags like so. Okay, tags are written in square bracket, within square bracket. I mean, um, angular bracket rather. Okay, so um, HTML tags label pieces of content, you know, such as headings, paragraphs, table, and so on. Okay. Now, to 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 create a web uh, web page using HTML, uh, we're going to be needing some materials like a text editor. Any text editor can serve a uh, couple of good ones out there, like uh, you know Sublime Text, which is the one you see me using right now. Uh, there's Notepad Plus Plus. There is um, uh, VS Code. There's Brackets. But basically, just use anyone that does good for you. Use any one you feel comfortable. With. With. Okay, so I'm going to be working with um, um, Sublime Text okay, for the purpose of this tutorial. All right. Now, um, apart from a text editor, we're going to be using a browser. We're going to be using a browser, and I, I know pretty much everyone's computer has got a browser. You can use any one of your choice. Um, there's Chrome, there's Firefox. Just feel free to work with any browser that you're okay with. All right. All right. Now, one thing about HTML5 is that um, is is the building block, is the basic of any any um, website out there. You know, pretty much almost every website begins with um, a HTML um, you know section, okay, and then you can begin to talk of other like CSS, JavaScript, PHP, SQL, and also and etc. All right. Now, browsers do not display the HTML tags, but use them to render the content of the page. So, um, you can have a browser, for example, Firefox, okay, that reads your HTML code and tries as much as possible to output what it finds in them, you know, using your tags or what it finds in them. All right. Now, um, some of these tags have been uh, indicated meaning that uh, some of them are new, some have been phased out. You know, HTML5 introduced some really, really cool tags you know, that were present in previous versions of HTML. Okay. Um, HTML elements are surrounded, or are written in angular bracket like so. Okay, like so. So type. Um, just a minute, okay. Um, dot type HTML. All right. Now, um, HTML, a simple HTML document, has three sections. We have the document declaration section, where you declare that you want to prepare a HTML document, all right? And then you have the head section, and you have the body section, okay? Um, so. Uh, to declare a HTML document, just put a my sublime text, put on the line one there, and have a doc type, more like a document type, it's called documented declaration, where I declare that I want to prepare a HTML document. So we have it like so, um, the angular bracket, don't forget the angular bracket, then we have the um, exclamation mark, we have doc type, okay, doc type, and we have HTML written. Okay, if you see how the HTML written as like so, okay. Now I'm going to save this file. All right, I'm going to save it. So let's do this. Um, do this. Address on my keyboard. Um, okay, you could pretty much save your file anywhere you want. All right, pretty much save it anywhere you want. So 
I want to save it in this folder right here on my classroom. Uh, I'm going to save it as uh, okay HTML. Okay, introduction. Okay, all right HTML uh, intro. Okay, that's intro. All right. Pretty much use any name you want for your HTML document. But what matters is if you need to have dot HTML. All right. So uh, we're going to be appending dot HTML to our file name. Okay, our file name. Now an alternative to this method is to um, select you know from this save as type and select this you know. Okay, that's going to be an alternative. But pretty much it's just we just have dot HTML here. All right, so HTML intro dot HTML, or we can just have intro dot HTML. So let's do this. So basically, give it any name that you feel okay with. All right, so intro, and then we have dot HTML. You should do it. Okay. All right. In case you're using um, a text editor that won't let you select, uh, uh, you know, this HTML from this. Okay. Or well, probably doesn't have the save as type really. But so you can just go with this intro dot HTML. All right, and then I'm going to click save and done. So I have a HTML document called intro dot HTML. Now this is the first stage, and then I said um, there are two uh, sections of a HTML document. The second section being of the head section. So like so, head section. All right, head section. Okay. All right. Now the head section is going to contain information about the website, uh, the web page being developed. It's going to contain technical information about the website being developed. For example, you can have the title of the website. Okay. Um, let me just give you a title introductory class. Okay, so that's the title of the website. Now it, you might have noticed that um, these tags appear in pairs, like so, like this and like this all right the same thing here like this and like this now in html we have what is called the opening tag and the closing tag so they have two they, they tag come in pairs a lot of html five tags come in pairs the opening and the closing tag all right now not all tags come in pairs really but most um, tags up to 80 to 90 percent of most that come in pairs all right, so it's going to both have an opening tag, like so. You just have a title, for example. Okay, you can recognize the um, HTML tag, it used to define the title of um, okay, a website, and then it has a closing. Now, this closing indicates that we're done with the title. All right, the title is over, we're done with the title, we declare the title for the website. All right, now there are a list of valid HTML tags. All right, you know, when uh, you check up online or follow this tutorial, you're going to be seeing a list of valid um, HTML tags, HTML file tags. The title is one of it. Okay, okay. So this is a valid HTML file tag, all right, written in um, Angular Dragon. And then this is where I close the tag. All right, so um, whatever is in between defines the title of the site, the web page being developed. All right. Okay. So um, tags that have opening and also have closing are called container tag. So this is a container tag, and it contains within it. You can see it contains the text for the document, which is the um, title of the uh, web page. All right. All right. Now we have other tags called the meta tag. Now, um, meta tags are also uh, information that describe a site to browsers and to search engines. So, meta tags um, can also contain technical information about a website. Um, now, uh, okay, so meta tags are, do not have um, a closing tag like you can uh, basically we don't have uh, meta like that. Okay, so we don't have that. So they are written as standalone tags, you know, the method tags. They are written as standalone tags. So every other information that will make this thing useful, we have to be written inside this 
class attributes. All right, so as attributes like so. All right, good. So okay, we're going to be having um, different attributes now. An attribute is basically um, a feature which extends your tag. All right, a feature which extends your tag. Now this feature can contain a name, property name, and a value. Right, property name and a value. So instead of just having a tag like this, we can extend it with something. So we can give our meta a name, since we're not going to be having any, um, um, you know, closing tag. Okay. So to give it a name, um, like a title, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and describe the title using content. So we're going to be having content. Okay. And just have um, the same thing. Introduction class. Introduction class. Now uh, you can have as many meta tags as you want, depending on what kind of site you can develop or build. So you can have, um, let's give this meta tag a name, um, let's say description, yeah, description like so. Now content as an attribute is where we go ahead and describe what the site is about. Okay, so I'm going to say is uh, a class. On HTML5, uh, okay, in the Alright, okay, this is our, okay, this is our introductory class on HTML5. This is our, alright, just, um, let me see that. This is our introductory class on HTML5. Alright, this makes a lot of sense right now. And we can also have another meta tag, like I said, that you can have. As many relevant meta tags as possible, you know, for your web page. All right, you just um, um, well, contain technical description about the site, so we can give this meta tag a name, or we should give it a name. Now, uh, the list of acceptable meta, you know, um, the, the attributes that you can extend your meta tag with. All right, like name and content. All right. So we can give it a name, um, keywords, I'm going to explain what keywords stand for, and content. Now, let me explain what keywords stand for. Keywords stand for, um, um, okay, I don't know, have you, if you've ever um, gone to Google or any search engine for that matter, and you have tried to search for something on um, online, for example, you wanted to search for an online tutorial on HTML5, and um, you type that search query in the search bar and you click the search button and it brings you some useful recommended pages which you can click on to visit um, you know uh, this uh, you know site you know see more so basically we can have keywords are uh, things you uh, um, keywords are unique phrases, phrases that are relevant to what your site is talking about, what your site deals with, what your site is all about. So um, this is an online tutorial on HTML5, so my search for my keywords could be online tutorial, okay? The more um, descriptive your keyword, the better, online um, HTML5 tutorial, okay? You can have uh, as many relevant keywords as possible so you just keep this relevant separated with a comma uh, we can have um, text facts um, html5 okay html5 tutorial and so forth all right keep going on and on and on and on just keep um, separating them with a comma on and on and on all right and so um that's for our keywords now we can also specify a character set for this site, you know, the character set. Alright, okay, so I can have you can have it at any point really. Alright, so we can have um, yeah, that's that. Okay, the meta character set equals to BTS. ITS slash it describes the encoding method for um, this website. We could have other figures like B5, but um, basically UTF slash it dash it rather is the um, character encoding method for this. All right, so this is um, chat set or character set. <coughs> All right, so um, yeah, that is for that one. So we can have as many as we want uh, 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 meta tags, right? 
So, uh, okay, if I want to go online and look at some of the uh, um, useful, you know, some of the method tags that you can apply to your document, and um, you know, basically, you can get up more on them. You can also have a method tag, you can author, for example, you can have a um, method uh, that you can with a name, author, and you can just have the name of your author, like so. Okay, alright, wish. So we can have that one, all right, and so forth. We can have as many method tags as um, possible, all right. Now I, I, I want to state something on, um, all right. Okay, we move on. I'll definitely going to come back to that, all right. Now for the head section, okay. Let's see um, as far as we go. Let's see what we've gone so far. Now the, this doesn't necessarily the method tags do not necessarily have to show on the browser. As they are picked up by it, it, because it, 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 they are, uh, are picked up by the browser definitely, but they are not. They do not necessarily. Um, uh, they are not necessarily out to be on the browser. Uh, for you to see, you know, the body of the browser. They are also picked up by search engines. All right. Okay. So, but uh, we will definitely see this in our browser. The title of the site is the top two class. So, uh, here's my browser. So my browser is going to have to refresh. I'm going to have to refresh the browser. So we have that in the top class here. Okay. Now for your browser, here is the body. Okay. Uh, what we we'll get to the body section, um, this is when we're going to begin to see some real cool stuff around here. Okay. So whatever we have in the body section is going to be present uh, you know, around here. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So you can actually do that. If you want to view your um, results in your browser, you could use a sublime text. You could right click. And you can open the browser to see what you're doing, or you can go to the folder uh, where we have this. I think the folder where I have this. Okay, uh, I think there's online classroom and uh, intro. You can click on intro and uh, you're going to you know, double click this file and you're going to see what you're doing. Now, another thing I'd like us to look into is uh, an image. Okay, now I'm going to uh, basically look at my browser here now. So, um, the world's called a browser icon, so called icon, you know, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so um, it's basically uh, a, a very small image that sits besides the, uh, besides the uh, you know, title of the website. So, we're going to be looking at that, we're going to be looking at that, and we're going to be seeing how to uh, fix that image. So, now, um, Okay, so let's do that quickly. Now we use the link tag to do this. Okay, we use the link tag, and um, I'm going to quickly explain um, how we're going to how we do that now. So now this link tag is pretty much useless on its own. I don't really do much to start the link tag because it doesn't have um, maybe a um, closing, you know, uh, you know watch link or stuff like that. It doesn't have anything like this. So it's a standalone tag, you write it stands on its own, it's not a container tag for anything. So whatever um, manipulation we're going to do to um, this tag, just like just as every other standalone tag, will be done as attributes, that is within the um, brackets. So we're, we're going to be having um, attributes such as rel, and we're going to be giving that a value shortly. And we're going to be having um, um, href as an attribute, and we're going to be giving that value very shortly. Now, um, I want to link. I want to link um, um, this image. All right, I want to link this image. I want to use it as uh, my browser icon. So, um, the relationship. Okay, I want to explain um, this. Um, uh, this stuff here. This. Uh, Attribute rel, you can see it in terms of the relationship between the file I am trying to link, okay, and this document. Okay, you can first explain that way. You know how does it relate to this document, and um, how is very easy. So that um, that picture, of that uh, image there, is the shortcut icon. There's a shortcut icon for this uh, web page, okay. Or is the icon, all right? Icon for this um, uh, web page, etc. Now, href has to do with um, where 
uh, where can we fetch the image from you know, where will we fetch the image or we fetch this icon this icon okay where will we will fetch it from so um, I'm going to show something quickly um, on my classroom so here's my image now notice that there is an item type uh, okay notice the pop up there is an item type which is the head and um, the name of the image is paid by icon really it could be anything basically okay it can be a properties and you can have that um, okay so here we are all right so this is the name of the image and the type of file is jpeg so we're going to be having the jpg appended to this all right okay so note that the image is quite small um 64 by 64 browsers are getting very intelligent now so they will actually resize this to fit but if you still use very small size images square shape preferably 64 by 64 16 by 16 really up to you okay so um let's go with that so save icon dot jpg all right so here's my image um the icon for this side the browser icon so I call it icon whatever yeah save icon dot jpg now I'm going to uh, come back to my browser. I'm going to refresh my browser. Uh, yeah, we have it like that. So that's what I'm going to say. The cool, the cool image, and yeah, you can see that it's a lot of there. Right there. Okay. So, um, okay. So that is for uh, that is for the head section. We could still have other tags that would be replaced by the head section, like. Um, you know, script when we get to that, okay. We get script tags, all right. Just to get script tags, like so. But okay, when we get to that, um, we can still have um, style sheets, you know, still on still link, but style sheet, okay. CSS file, we still get to that, all right. So just need to take that out. We we'll get to that, and so for now, we cool with it, all right. So we have a title of the website. We have some useful meta tags right here, and um, we have um, our shortcut icon, our browser icon, right there. This one, this makes it first section of um, this document. document. The second section, which is the first section, don't forget is document declaration. Document declaration will be there. This document. The um, second section is the section, which contains technical information about the site, technical description about the site, your keywords, okay, basically it's, it's, it just like that, some technical stuff, including links to icons, to, 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 to style sheets, and to script when we get them, when we get there, really. So, basically this is it. Now the third section, and mm, most times the, the final section. So, for the final section, we have the body, the body of the website, the body of the website, all right. So, um, after the body of the website, which uh, now the body is a container tag which has the opening and the closing. So, everything I have in between here will appear on this button, this white space, like so, this white space, and after which I can close my HTML. Okay, so we have there we have it. We have the document type declaration, we have the text section. And we have the body section. Three major divisions of a website. Any web page out there, okay. lots of web pages out there, really. So, catch you in the next episode. We'll be looking at formatting.